Hi, I'm Adam C and welcome to some sunshine, finally. I'm here in my 350Z at Goodwood for Players Classic. Now this video is brought to you by CarHuddle.com, the free online car show directory. And today's car show is going to be for classic and modified cars. I've also got my brand new premium leather lofty car mats. They make mats for over 800 models, including the 350Z, so I have fitted them. And you can get a $40 discount using the discount code Adam C. So check them out at loftycar.com. So my 350Z and another 350Z over there, which is the hardtop in orange, who is also part next to a silver RX-7. But the car park is not what we're here for, even though there are twin Mark III RSs and a very modified 350Z there with a veil side body kit. It's a shame it's a daytime meet today because I imagine a lot of these cars have neons and if you want to join the Bring Neons Back movement you can get yourself one of these t-shirts on the link below or here or here if you want. <laughs> but for now let's go inside and see some of the cars on display. Oh there you go, there's an idea. Rocket Bunny GT86 and a McLaren 12C. So straight away there's a rather nice sounding Mark 1 Escort. There's a lot of racing going on today and this will definitely be taking part. So we've got cars such as this E36 3 Series, a slammed Opal Corsa, I'm sure it's just a Vauxhall with an Opal badge, a slammed Golf next to it as well, and some very vibrant colours going on. There are quite a few random displays, we've got BMWs, Volvos, Seats and a S15 all in a lineup, as well as two different takes on modifying a 350Z, including this one whose alarm is going off, probably because the window has been left ajar. And yet another way of modifying a 350Z. We've got this Rocket Bunny one turning out with yellow headlights. So I guess we're still not quite at the classic section. I mean, there's a PS13 that we've seen many times before on this channel in turquoise, which is my favorite color. And again, another section where I don't really know what's going on. We've got like a, a mint E46 M3, we've got a mini, a E30 convertible that's been lowered on some rims. I think all these cars have been loaded on some rims today. There's a i30N and just more slammed variety. Sapphire Cosworth, a white chaser. Everybody loves a white chaser. A Metro on some rims and some very bold alloy choices. It's just a lot of everything everywhere. There's some brave choices of wheels everywhere as well. And this is probably one of my favorites here, which has been turbocharged with obviously a side exit breather. And next door to it, a classic Volkswagen Beetle with obviously the, the windscreen that goes up for added inconvenience and another turbo with a breather out the side. That is clean. I'm guessing the turbo is just there for show because I doubt this is a high performance vehicle. There's too much to look at and there's too much variety. I don't know where to point my attention to. Oh my god, there's a pug. Hello. Today's show is just an advert for Air Ride at the moment. Seems to be the common theme amongst all these cars. Oh, look at that Datsun. A rat rodded 260Z with yellow headlights and an external oil cooler. Got another custom 350Z rolling in. A lot of people are going for this two-tone look at the moment, it seems. That seems to be the in trend, as well as rocket bunnying and wide bodying S14s. And an Arctic Camo Corsa who's got a roof box like he's going to go skiing in a bit, but I don't think that clearance will get up an Alp. But I think we should go under the circuit to the other side to have a look at what's in the paddock. So straight away we've got a slammed Porsche 964, a E30 M3, an Audi which has also been slammed down to the ground. There's an airlift performance tent there, so it's obviously sponsoring them and a JVC branded wide body Rocket Bunny GT86. Lovingly designed by the owner of that RX-7. As well as a E21 3 Series which can only be described as in mint condition. Mato is looking a little bit nervous today. As well as the slammed cars today, we also have a Hummer who has turned up. Now I believe I have entered the Ford pitch which has a Ford Escort Cosworth replica. That looks rather incredible. And amongst all the fast Fords, there is, um, is that, a, is that a Supra? And over here we have a Bentley Continental GT which has had a Volkswagen Golf shell put on top of it. <laughs> he has left one of his headlights at home. And here's the GT86 and the 12C that we saw earlier. The 12C is actually sitting on some BBS wheels which is unusual for a supercar of its sort. And over here I can spot a Liberty Walk BMW i8. The first of its sort I'd imagine. And beyond this turbocharged Mini we've got a 993 with some sparkle on its wing and Mad Max has turned up in a Mustang. 
Every single car here has been modified in such a unique way. We've got wings for days and custom colours, paint jobs and a lot of low. And quite a coincidence here, this diesel rat rodded Volkswagen Corrado has got a sticker saying because roadkill, which is funny because the car next to it kills things stood by a road. Someone's even brought a standard McLaren 720S in Volcano Orange to this modified car show and parked there next to two Sierra RS Cosworths. Along with a slammed E-Class station wagon with a roof box. Oh, and a Supra with a full carbon fibre body kit with wide rear arches. Port Angler Crew Race vs Rose, a Mark III MX-5 which has been slammed, and a Golf Golf. That is a Golf Golf. And a 300ZX which has gone to sleep, an E92 M3, and oh my god, it's an MGB! I'm currently restoring my MGB at the moment. I did not have the confidence to go for a custom color change, I went for the original. This looks astonishing in metallic purple. And the purple of the MGB really complements the purple that is on this S2000. Not only the engine components, but the color goes from bronze to purple. Before anyone says anything, this is not an MR2. This is a genuine 355, just with a creative owner. This Mini is so low to the ground, I can't tell if it's been slammed or chopped. I reckon it's just been slammed, because the roof looks a similar height to normal, but it could be chopped slightly. I reckon that's been chopped as well. We've got a Liberty Walk Mustang, a Jägermeister E30 M3, a Marlboro 2002. And what do you know, another crazy modified supercar, this slammed AMG GT. People obviously have way too much money these days be able to modify a car like this. Again, some rotiform wheels. But why not? Definitely one of the most valuable builds in the car park today. So what is this Audi Coupe with its upward facing tailpipe? And another slammed supercar with this Audi R8 V10. He has chucked some golden BBSs on his R8 and a non-OEM spoiler. It does look like the GT spoiler, but this is not an original Audi spoiler, as far as I can tell. However, next to him is something that gets a little bit more attention, a 350Z. Again, a Rocket Bunny 350Z with... Okay, these are definitely the bravest choice of wheels I have seen today. That takes the cookie. This is the kind of thing that I would love to do to my 350Z. Inside, the theme continues with some fluffy seats and a signed dashboard and some sticker bombs and plasters. Unbelievable, a modified Opal Cadet convertible, GTE seats and everything. I'd imagine in its day, seeing this Audi slam to the ground would be quite a concerning thing, because this is quite luxurious in its day. I don't know, much like this S-Class, which has had exactly the same thing done to it. Again, on rotiform wheels. This Volkswagen Beetle has stolen the rear end of another car and put it on the back of it. So we're back onto hard standing. We have more roof boxes. They seem to be a trend this year. And a colour that I've never seen on a car, like a peachy, pearlescent pink. That is something a bit different. This is an Opel Vectra estate with Mercedes wheels. And yet another customised supercar. This Audi R8 has been slammed to the ground. Mega camber on this GT86. And a lot of vibrancy on this Subaru. And this. And a Lincoln Continental Town Car. Which again has been lowered for inconvenience. Brave. This is looking quite nice. Similar to that of a yacht. With the wooden bed. This looks clean. Tasteful. Oh. Um, and next to the Marvel yacht is a Rolls-Royce Phantom, which has had a Volkswagen Transporter shell placed on top of it. Obviously there is the chassis of the Phantom. We've got some swivelly seats that are facing the wrong way. And it has the world's biggest air brake. Check out these tips. <laughs> Dieter Marzo Pantera has just turned up and is causing a sounding scene. A Testarossa has been resprayed in metallic grey. It hasn't been lowered, it's on original rims. So this Dieter Marzo Pantera that came in has also been modified. This is outrageous. It's certainly been rebuilt with its huge Ford V8 and pretty straight for exhausts. So we've got the Dieter Marzo Pantera who is moving around, who is a bit of a late arrival. And another late arrival was this 308, which looks absolutely mega. Look at that. Right, we need to capture the sounds of this D to Marzo. Check out the width of that D to Marzo, it's ridiculous. And we've got a 12Z coming past with some rims. Ha! 
someone's exhaust. <laughs> And finally, it is time to leave. I am very sunburnt. That's a long day here at Goodwood for the Players Classic Show. Check out the link here or in the description below for the t-shirts that I've got available on the T-Mill website. But for now, thanks for watching.